Hello, welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I hope you learn, but most of all, I hope you enjoy. Today I wanted to uh, mix uh, acrylic pouring and structure and resin. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting structure paste in my cup. And I have mixed some color art blue interference with uh, a black acrylic paint. And I'm going to mix that in the structure paste because I want it to be a certain color. Of course you can paint over it uh, if you don't want to mix it to give it the color you want. But I wanted to do it this way. You have to mix it very well. It's a very thick paste so it will take a while. And now we are going to divide the structure paste and yeah, make a design that you want it to be. So I was putting that on and make sure that I went to the edges, but I didn't want it to fall off the edges. First I was all dividing it. And later on I was uh, making the structure in it that I wanted. So I used a stick and a brush and my fingers until I was happy with the structure it had. I wanted to look pretty rough like it's uh, a rock. There we have some holographic glitter. I'm not sure which brand it was. I think I got it from Amazon sometime. And I'm sprinkle it, sprinkling it over the wet structure paste. So here you can see it. So here you can see it while it's still wet. And here you see the dried result. Um, a couple of days later when it was fully cured um, I cut my primary elements and the vivid polypore and I cut some very bright colors. I will list the colors below in the description box. And I just poured that <coughs> yeah, in, the, in between of my structure paste. And initially my plan was uh, that I wanted uh, a real contrast between uh, yeah, the rough structure paste that looked like a rock and I wanted a very shiny center with all that colors so it would be yeah, a nice contrast. We know that if you pour primary elements and vivid polypore that well, when it's drying it will change a little bit. Uh, the colors will mingle a little that's just what happens when you use um, pigments. Pigments always like to swim around a little. And that's uh, exactly what I wanted in this case. And yeah, you will see when this is dry that the blue actually yeah, mingled with the yellow and it made a gorgeous green. And the red and the pink and the orange, they all mingled and gave it, I think, a very nice look. It was on pretty thick. So this took a while to fully dry and cure. I spilled a little bit there, I removed it. And here you can see it while well, it's still wet. As you can see the colors have not mingled much, but they are starting to mingle. And here you can see the dried result and you see that the colors have blended together in a very nice way. At least I think so. But it dried pretty nice. And the stripes you see are not cracks, but that's just yeah the, the pigments 
let's yeah make it look that way but I loved it so now um, I'm going to paint the sides in the same color that I mixed in my structure paste and where you see the green that's still taped um, about the MDF board I uh, prepped that on two sides, so I painted two sides so it won't warp and now I want it to resin the middle part, the center part and my initial plan was to only resin uh, the center but unfortunately when it was drying it did go over the edge, so I just put too much resin on. I should have uh, used uh, a thinner layer. But well, that's how we learn. But I would have loved it if it would have stayed this way, because I wanted to the structure yeah, to be to keeping that nice rough look, because it would have been so nice in contrast. Uh, I'm using art resin. It's uh, a 50-50 mix together. It's easy to work with. <coughs> Make sure that the edges are covered as well. And as you can see, I ended up resining the whole thing because, uh, yeah, I didn't want uh, a little bit resin over the edge that. That looked just weird, so that's why I resin the whole thing. But I'm going to try this again. <coughs> Excuse me. And try to do uh, yeah what was initially my plan. So I removed the tape, and now I'm painting the the edge that I still have where there's no resin. I'm painting it black. I was thinking first I wanted to do uh, a gold leaf there, but I thought, well, it would probably get too busy, so I chose uh, black in the end. This was, of course, uh, a job that took me a couple of days, all this together, but I'm quite happy with the end result anyway. And it was nice to do something else for a change. I just love doing uh, different things. I need to uh, yeah, challenge myself by trying different things. But I think this is a very nice abstract to put on your wall. If you're into that, it would be an eye catcher. And yeah, I'm happy with it. And I just love how bright and gorgeous uh, those primary elements, elements are. So people, primary elements don't fade. They are just the most bright and beautiful colors you have ever seen. They are just beautiful. And there's nothing else like it. Even if you don't want to use resin, they would have shined anyway. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.